What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. We have a very active season coming up right now. The next 10 days are going to be quite active. The weather winter storm season is starting to ramp up, and we have the latest update for you guys. We have winter storm warnings issued for parts of Nebraska, Colorado, and Kansas, and winter storm watches uh, for parts of Iowa, southeast Minnesota, and western Wisconsin. We're going to go over all of this, so we're going to go ahead and start with the winter storm warning real quickly. So this is what we have right here. Winter storm warning remains in effect from 6 p.m. this evening until midnight on Wednesday night. What? Heavy snow expected. Total snow accumulations of 7 to 10 inches possible. We're, we may see more of that, and we'll get to that in a second, but this is what we're looking at. This is for portions of north-central, panhandle, southwest, and west-central Nebraska. So... This is from the time once again. Travel could be very difficult. Patchy blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility. The hazardous conditions could impact the morning or evening commute. Additional details. This is important right here. Northeast winds could be uh, north. Uh, could be sorry. Northeast winds becoming northerly could gust up to 30 miles per hour and cause some blowing and drifting snow. So that's why they said travel could be very difficult right there. So that's the winter storm warning. We're going to go ahead and go over to a couple of these winter storm watches right here. This is the winter storm watch for parts of Iowa right here. This is what we're taking a look at. Moderate to heavy snow possible. Total snow accumulations of 4 to 9 inches with the greatest amounts along the north uh, north of Waterloo and to Ames to the Atlantic line. Minor ice accumulations is possible on the far south edge of the watch for uh, portions of central and north Iowa. Travel could be very difficult. That's what we're looking at right there. So four to nine inches of snow possible for Iowa. We're going to go ahead and go to La Crosse, Wisconsin, and show you that winter storm watch right here. This is what we're looking at uh, right here. Uh, heavy snow possible. Total snow accumulation of three to six inches with locally higher amounts possible. That's why they issued the watch. For portions of north central, uh, northeast Iowa, southeast Minnesota, and uh, and central, southwest, and west central Wisconsin. This is from Wednesday evening through Thursday afternoon. The heaviest snow will fall Wednesday night. Travel could be very difficult, especially with that, especially if the storm moves further to the north and that adds ice to it. So that's something we absolutely do not want right there. So we're going to go ahead and show you some of the models right here. Before we get into the accumulations right here, we're going to go ahead and show you the precipitation type and time this out. Because that snowstorm is already developing as we speak right here. And it's moving through Colorado, Kansas into Nebraska. We're starting to see that freezing rain and sleet developing right there. So it's definitely a very dangerous situation we are looking at. Part, most of Nebraska is covered in snow by this point. Parts of Iowa, eventually that transition snaps and basically becomes all cold and freezing right there. That's why it becomes snow. And that freezing line may is potentially going to dissipate and f transition fully to snow once that inversion is kind of killed off, basically. An inversion is when basically you have a temperature that actually increases as you go up further in the atmosphere. In fact, freezing rain, There's a, the reason freezing rain happens is because it's cold, like it's below freezing all the way down to about, I'd say, uh, 2,000 feet. And then the temperature for a little bit gets around 33, 34 degrees. It melts that snow into rain. And then right at the surface, I'd say about uh, less than 500 feet, it actually gets down below freezing once again. And that's why you get freezing rain. It basically freezes on contact. That's why uh, it gets its name right there. Sleet's a little different. We'll talk about that later when we get a huge sleet event. But I wanted to give you the qu quick rundown of how this stuff works. So yeah, parts of Minneapolis could see quite a bit of snow from this. Although probably not as much as the earlier estimates suggested. We're going to go ahead and show you that snow accumulation. The NAM has actually been very aggressive with this. The NAM has around 27, 28 inches of snow for parts of Nebraska, despite the 7 to 10 for the NWS. That's why I said there we could see more than 7 to 10, honestly. We have a huge area of a foot or more with this. For, nor uh, for northern Iowa, we're seeing uh, around 10 inches of snow, especially there. And for La Crosse, Wisconsin, around 7 to 8 inches. Parts of Minneapolis, around 3, uh, three to 4 inches right there. So d not basically, it's going to be a pretty big snow uh, storm all around. We're going to go ahead and show you the European run to show you what's different. We have the 12Z coming in 
right now, actually. So hopefully this goes for, uh, far enough out for us to get a really good gauge of it. It does, but it doesn't go out entirely to parts of Lacrosse, Wisconsin, or anything like that. But the, what it's showing me right now is that we're looking at 29 inches potentially for parts of rural Nebraska right here, which means all the cattle, everything like that. You better find a way to protect them and everything like that because if it's like this for a couple of days, they, it'll, they could get severely sick and all that because they're not used to this kind of stuff. But that's what we're looking at. We're still looking at an area over a foot of snow for much of Nebraska, Colorado, and a little bit of Kansas right here. For Iowa, we're looking at it. It's still a little too early out. Let's see if we get some more if, if some more hours are in. Yes, it is. It does look like it. Let's go, let's go ahead and pull it up right here for you guys. For Iowa, we have western Iowa getting like around 10 inches uh, 10 inches of snow in the northern uh, in the western tips right there but around 6 to 7 inches and part and even parts of Des Moines and Ames could see 3 to 4 inches of snow. La Crosse Wisconsin uh, is still going to see around 5 to 6 inches of snow from this Minneapolis sees around 2 uh, 2 to 3. So definitely some interesting things going on right there. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the GFS and the GFS has actually been the most conservative out of these three runs. The GFS has around 20 inches of snow in parts of Nebraska and basically uh, has that foot of uh, snow all around that area as well as parts of Colorado. Then we're getting the parts of Iowa uh, getting 8 to 9 inches of snow. La Crosse gets seven, uh, 6 uh, inches, 7 uh, and a half maybe uh, right there. Parts of uh, Minnesota gets 4 inches of snow, 4 to 5. Yeah, that line I'm noticing is basically a difference between 20 miles between 4 inches and 7 inches right there. So a decent gradient right there if you look at that. So yeah, which model run do I uh, would I suggest to take? I don't know. All three of these are still bringing pretty bringing pretty big snow to you guys. So I would just take all of these e individually with a grain of salt. But the general consensus is that parts of Nebraska are going to get buried. Parts of Iowa are going to get a lot of snow. That's going to cause a lot of travel issues. And part in Lacrosse, Wisconsin, Western Wisconsin, they're going to see decent um, see decent amount of snow, enough to cause travel issues, but not enough to cause a full shutdown. But what we are looking at some other snow uh, snowstorms uh, basically in the next week and a half. I'll update you guys when we get more information out on all of them. So we'll leave you guys right here with that. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out. It helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. Well, with that being said, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.